a big story, big story that hit. Disney CEO Bob Iger steps down. Company veteran Bob Chappick takes the reins. Iger's been around for a minute, right? Uh, the Walt Disney, uh, Walt Disney chief, uh, Bob, that's Bob Iger, abruptly, interesting, abruptly stepped down Tuesday, sending shockwaves through Hollywood, uh, Wall Street, and Silicon Valley. And Bob Chappick, who has served as chairman of Disney Parks Experiences and Products since the creation of 2018, was named Iger's successor effective immediately. So this is talking about one of the streaming stocks, which is Disney. And I don't know what made him step down, um, but nonetheless, that's going to affect Disney. And we'll see how coming up in the future. Next one that I want to talk about as far as a streaming stock, how the coronavirus could boost iPhone 12 sales. We don't have the 12 yet, do we? Oh, okay. The continuing fallout uh, from the coronavirus is expected to bring serious pain to Apple. Just in case you didn't know, Apple has already said that their forecasted earnings or forecasted revenue was already decreased. So when Apple, I'm going to let you know that when earnings comes out, Apple most likely will miss earnings, most likely, but they're already preparing their investors about it. When it reports its earnings for the fiscal quarter 20, 2020, the company already made as much clear after the announcement it would hit its previous revenue guidance for the coming quarter and chose not to offer new guidance range. But analysts and investors aren't responding with despair over the lost sales, which could total between four to seven billion dollars across its product lines in the second quarter. Instead, they're focusing on the launch of Apple's next generation iPhone this fall, which is expected to be the first phone with 5G capabilities. So even with the coronavirus affecting Apple in a bad way because it's affecting their sales over in China <clears throat> and because a lot of the Chinese factories are closing down that make their parts, people are still anticipating uh, a big move because of the iPhone 12. I don't know anything about the iPhone 12 right now. Here's my phone, Joey. Did you? Oh, here's my phone. I got the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Don't be looking at all the stuff that's on the screen. But uh, Joey's got, what do you got, Joey? Uh, he's got the iPhone 1. So, yeah, that's what he's got. He's got the iPhone 1. But people are still looking for, from an Apple standpoint, <clears throat> uh, anticipating what the iPhone 12 is going to be all about, especially because it's going to have 5G. And Amazon is in the, in the news. Out of stock, coronavirus in China threatens Amazon sellers, saying Amazon's rankings algorithms demotes products that are out of stock. Many are raising prices to slow the sales, looking to shift production. Man, coronavirus stories are all over in regards to anything that's in the market. And my last one for the streaming wars, uh, Netflix may struggle amid an expensive business model and growing competition. Everybody knows that Netflix is still the big boys when it comes down to streaming, but everybody's getting putting their hands in it, whether it's whether it's um, um, Amazon, whether it's uh, Apple, whether it's Disney, everybody's getting their hands in the pot. There's a lot of money to be made, but it may be affecting uh, Netflix in a negative way soon coming up. So let's go back to my watch list. What I do. Did I not do it right? No, I didn't. Hold on. Let's try this again. Here's our watch list. In here, we're looking at Netflix. We're looking at Apple. We're looking at Amazon. And we're looking at Disney. Here's the four stocks in the streaming. Let's talk about them real quick. Netflix, way over its value. That doesn't make it a bad stock. It just means that people are willing to pay a premium to own it. Apple, um, very close to its value. I'm going to call that fairly valued. Our mantra here in Vector, in Vector Vest is to have you in safe, undervalued stocks that are rising in price. But because the stock is overvalued, doesn't make it a bad thing. We assign a value for every stock is what we feel the stock is currently worth based on earnings, based on earnings growth, and other things that are included in assigning a value to a stock. And the value is not a price target. Amazon, way over its value, but it has been ever since it came to fruition. Disney, 
over its value, but I know why it's over its value. It put a lot of money into getting Disney Plus out to the world. All right, so their earnings took a big hit over that. Let's look at our indicators, RV, the stock's upside potential, RV, RS, RT, VST, and CI, all of these indicators are cast on a scale between zero and two, where above one is favorable and below one is unfavorable. Upside potential, Netflix has the best upside potential. Relative value looks at a stock's long-term price appreciation potential as compared to an alternative investment in AAA corporate bond. What I'm going to say with Netflix, Netflix should outperform that AAA corporate bond by 14%. Apple should outperform that AAA corporate bond by 2%. Amazon is right on par with that AAA corporate bond. And Disney, for the long term, you probably don't want to hold it long term right now because the stock will underperform a AAA corporate bond. Safety. It's the indicator of risk for the stock, and it also looks at the consistency and predictability of a company's financial performance. Do these companies meet or exceed their earnings expectations predictably? All right, Netflix, above one. Most likely, this stock is going to have a high probability of meeting or exceeding earnings. Interesting about Apple, this is the safest stock out of the four at a value of 1.4, but the news came out that they are most likely going to miss what they're trying to hit for the second quarter. We'll see what happens. Uh, Amazon's got a earning, got a uh, relative safety above one, most likely will hit earnings. And Disney, even though the upside potential is not there, the stock is still a relatively safe stock right now. Last but not least, RT looks at the short-term price trend of the stock. Is it in an uptrend or not? Netflix at 1.35, in an uptrend. Apple, Currently, not in an uptrend because the RT is below one. Amazon, not currently in an uptrend. The RT is below one. Disney, not currently in an uptrend because it's below one. Now, let's take this a step further. Let's right click. Let's view the stock graph. Let's look at just these four graphs. In the streaming wars, which stock would be the best one to look at? Let's put this on a three month graph. Looking at today's activity, I am looking at VectorVest real time data. How about today's candle is open? I got a wick at the top. I've got some selling pressure going on with Netflix today, but look at the three and the eight exponential moving averages. They just crossed today as the stock is bouncing off a level of support. I like that even with the coronavirus virus information going on. The stock is preeminently rebounding. I'd love to see if the stock can take out that high before I jump on board. Open candle, good open day, but a lot of selling pressure with the wick at the top. The earnings per share, higher than it was three months ago. And not only is the stock moving, it's doing so on good volume. Volume is conviction. It helps me to understand that people are behind the stock moving it higher. Let's go to the next stock in the list, Apple, getting beat the heck up because of the coronavirus. So um, this is affecting them being able to sell phones globally, and the stock is feeling that heat. How about this? The 3 and the 8 exponential moving averages fell on 220. Number one, if you needed more confirmation to get out of the stock, here's a level of support at 302.69. Boom, it fell through there and still falling hard and look at the volume. Now I do like the earnings is higher than it was three months ago. This is the old adage. This is a bad time to be in a good stock. The stock overall, look at, I love the upward move. The stock is falling. It's created a level of support. Let's see if that level of support can hold with today's wick. Let's see if that level of support can hold. And if it does, this could be a good rebound, but I need more confirmation before I go and buy it now. Next stock in the list, Amazon also broke through a level of support, but look at the body back above that level of support. So what did it do? It fell, tested that level of support. The three and the eight still haven't shown me if the stock is going up right now. A lot of selling pressure today with a big wick at the top. Earnings per share are higher than it was three months ago. And the last stock is Disney with the move of Bob Iger leaving. Look at the move of the stock. Look at the volume behind it. Not only is the stock falling, but people are selling it emphatically. Earnings is lower than it was three months ago. Be careful with Disney. Right now, I think even though with the Disney Plus, they're, dig they're really gigging on that to try to get them pushed back into the right direction. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.
Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this Getting Started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.